Hello and welcome. I am Ghulam Abbas from NiazIQ.com. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install WTS with PowerShell. So it's so clear that you can install Windows, uh, Windows Deployment Services uh, with the Server Manager tool. But I have decided to show you how to install that one with uh, PowerShell. So it's so simple. Open the sort menu and then uh, run PowerShell. So you have to run PowerShell as an administrator. So since it is a PowerShell command, I will go ahead and run the PowerShell as administrator. Then type there start uh, start process p r o c e w s start process of what that will be PowerShell dot exe and word was that there should be a dash and what was it means to commit the command and that would be that should be run as administrator and then press enter to run is at as administrator so in case it may happen to you that you don't know the feature name how to install that one you are you have decided that i have to install wds but i don't know the feature name so in order to uh, know the feature name so it's so simple go ahead and type there get windows feature and then press enter on the keyboard it will list all the features which are available in the server uh, for you and also it will list for you the features which are installed for you and the features which are removed from the computer like you can take a look that this feature has been installed on the uh, server which is uh, support so there are also the features which are removed for you they are being also listed for you and the features which are available available for us so the feature which uh, which we are afraid and that is written that Windows deployment services and here it is and it has also two uh, tools in itself and that is deployment server and the transport server so what is its name the name you can take a look that here is written the name and the name of that part is known as WDS so here you can take a look so let's go ahead and install that one so in case it may happen to you it may happen to you that you don't know how to install uh, Windows, uh, I mean uh, these features. So it's so simple for you. You have to write get help, and then you have to write install Windows feature Windows get help install Windows feature, and then press enter. It will bring for you how to install that one here. You can take a look. It has given you uh, three methods to install that one you can take a look that here is only for the first time you have to write install windows feature and the second time you have to include the name of the feature which will be WADS and you can take a look that here is written restart we can also replace these commands for example we can bring a restart at the end or include uh, all the features at the first or all the things so I can do those things and here is also the here is the channel, instead of uh, install windows feature you can also try that add windows feature and then the rest of the commands will be written for you so i'll go ahead and uh, start the typing so i'll go ahead and try that get windows feature sorry for the question that is written install windows feature so i'll go ahead and also try install then there's a dash and windows get installed windows feature and there is the name so i'll go ahead and type the name of the feature that is wds so after that here's also written the name of the computer so right now i'll go ahead and type the name of computer again that will be computer name then there is my computer name that is domain controller zero zero and when you have written that one, so the next thing which is here that you yeah, install in order to install the all sub features which was the deployment services and the transport server, we have to write this command and that is include the tools. I can also copy that one and I can paste that one here and that is already done and I can remove the last section. So when this part is done, at last we have also to add this part here. What is written there was the stored and the command is here. I can also copy this and I can press it on here. So in case if it requires uh, restore the computer, so go ahead and restore the PC if it needs. So let me actually check this little bit above. So and when you are done with this part, 
remember you have to check these spellings if they should be wrong it will uh, give you an error so they all are fine i think yes so press enter and now it's processing up the installation of wds it will take a while to install uh, wds in server 2016. so all right it installed successfully on the computer and you can take a look here that uh, the installation that was been fine and it requires uh, it was no need to install the computers and exit code there i have not written the exit code and the feature result was windows deployment services so let's go ahead and launch the windows deployment services so go ahead and type the wds mgmt.msc and then press enter on the keyboard so it is launched for us so you can go ahead and configure all the things which you need for now i'll go ahead and exit it sometimes it may happen to for you that you have installed the feature and now you want to uninstall the that feature from the server so it is the same the commands are the same for uh, like we install the one so in order to uninstall the one so again if you don't know the types don't know how to install the one type this gag and then help and this time you have tried instead of install windows feature you tried uninstall u n uh, i n s t a w n install and install windows windows feature and then press enter and it will bring for you that how to uninstall that one <coughs> you can take a look that all the processes are the same for you uh, for the first time you have to write instead of install features only uninstall features and the rest of the commands they are the same you can take a look there is an install windows feature and you have to give the name and the feature name if it requires to install then you have to write this command and include the system management tools and all other things so i'll go ahead and uh, type the same command which i have already returned and just i'll change the instead of install i'll type that just un i should be it should be uninstalled so un i n U N I N S T L L. So it's fine for now. So press enter on the keyboard. It will uninstall the WTS. And now you can take a look that it's collecting data. So finally it's done here you can take a look that the uninstallation was true and it was it don't need any restart and the exit code again i have not written and the feature which was called that was windows deployment services so although you can uh with this commands which i have told you you can install any feature only you have to write the install feature and you have to find out the name of the feature and after that you have, uh if that has a sub feature then you have to uh, write down the include management tools and at last if it requires to restart then type down type down the restore so again it was all about how to install wds in server 2016 so let's take a look will it launch i don't think so i have to write here uh, wds wds mgmt dot mc and then press enter and now it won't launch for me here is written that WDS MGMT is the term WDS is not recognized as the name of a CMD layer function or a script file or a operable program. So it was right now you're saying that it is not being installed on the server. So I hope you have learned this. If you had any question, go ahead and type your question at the comment section, whether in the website or in the YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. So till next time, goodbye.